All right, guys, welcome back to another video with Old Man Pa. Yeah, I'm out here at Orange Lake Resort again. This time we're gonna play the back nine at the reserve course today. So we're gonna be playing the whites and this first hole is 504 yards. Um, got water right here in front of us. Got water down there. So, but it looks pretty open. Should be a pretty straightforward drive. Let's see if we can start it off with a good one today. Welcome everybody, let's go. All right, good drive to start off the day. Let's go see where she is. See if we can't pop us off a birdie here on the first hole. All right guys, ball ended up right here. And the shot it says it's 165. You gotta go over water right there, over to the green. So 165. Uh, 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 uh. I would hit an eight iron. There's a little bit of wind. I think I'm gonna go with a seven. All right. All right, guys, ended up in the bunker here, you can see. So, gonna have to get this one up and down, give myself a chance for a bird. First, second, this is the third shot right here, so this is for eagle. All right, pretty good out right there. I got it's probably like, Five feet, a little over five feet, five and a half for birdie. Let's see if we can roll one in here and start off good today. Oh, it didn't turn. Did not turn. All right, well, we will start it off with the par today, even through number 10. This is number 10, right? Yeah, number 10. All right, hole number 11 here is a par four. Seems to be 338 from the whites right here. All right. All right, there's the Lord above. Ball landed just short of that bunker right there. And just shot it with the range finder. We got about 105 yards to the pin. So, a little uphill, but I'm gonna hit a little smooth approach wedge and see if I can't put one tight. Here we go. Okay, good shot there. A little bit right, but we're gonna be putting. All right, perfect distance. I mean, come on. Can you get any better than that? Pin high than that right there? Well, that's what we got for our bird there. It's a little downhill. I think it might break a touch to the right, but let's see if we can knock this bird in. Oh, good roll. Speed was just a little bit off. All right, we got this one for par, so let's just knock it in and go on to the next one. Here we go. Another par. All right, so far so good. Oh, nice hole right here. Let me show you guys before I get to start talking. All right, this is one of my favorite holes out here, hole number 12. It's got this nice water across here and you got your like island kind of green over there but it's not that far but it's a nice shot here nice little par three all right hole number 12 it says it's 128 from the whites of course i'm going to shoot it but uh it's probably going to be a wedge i'm going to hit a pitching wedge probably so let's see if i can put one tight here and keep this train rolling baby all right guys i shot it, it says it's about 105 versus the 120 something so I'm gonna go with the approach wedge again, hit the same shot I hit on the last one. 
and it should be close. So let's see. Well, that one went a little right. So, it looks like it's up on the hill there. I'm gonna have to chip it down. Try to save par here on this one. All right, ball ended up here. A little bit long, a little bit right. So I'm gonna have a tricky chip down there. I'll have to hit it just right on the green there, a little bit to the right and let it run down there. All right, so my chip was a little bit long. It's right over where the tee is. Let's see if we can make this putt to save par right here. Ooh, yeah. There we go, baby. Woo, that's how you do it. All right, guys, hole number 13 here, par four. Kind of short par four. It's 334 yards, so it says. Um, pretty wide open down there. I think I'm just gonna whack my driver. We do have some bunkers on the left, and if you hit it too far, there is some water down there on the right. You guys can't see, but I'm gonna try and hit it where that guy is right there in the fairway. pop it up a little bit but he's right down the middle <laughs> all right guys ball ended up here right smack dab middle in the fairway i got about 82 yards i think uh, so i think i'm gonna hit easy 56 degree here easy one see what happens Hit that one too low, and it went a little bit long, but we still got a birdie putt, so let's go get it. All right, guys, like I said, hit that one a little bit too low and a little bit too hard. Been struggling with those wedge distances, but it is right here back on the back fringe, and uh, so I got a little birdie putt here 10, 20, 30, about 30 feet maybe going downhill. So, see if I can lag it up there nice and easy. and. Uh, Come out with another par. All right, hit that one a little too hard. So we got a little tester coming back here. A little tester for par. Oh, man. All right. First bogey of the day. That's what happens when you hit it long and then you have a crappy putt. Poor attempt at a par save. So, yeah. This one we're going to have to get back. We got to be we got to get back on that par train. <sighs> Old golf how she is sometimes boys that's how she goes all right hole number 14 here it says 196 from the weiss but i don't know how accurate that is we'll see when we get up there but uh yeah par three need to stick one tight get that shot back all right guys this next hole says it's about 170 it was not 196 pretty straightforward there straight down you have a big bunker on the left big bunker on the right so you need to hit it straight I'm gonna hit, uh, I think I'm gonna hit an eight iron here. Cause if it comes up short, great. But I don't want it to go long. Cut, baby, come on, win. Well, I was hoping that one was gonna cut. Cause there was a big wind going that way. 
but I hit it left, pulled it, and it's in that big bunker over there. So, hey, we got another bunker shot. Woohoo! I believe I had the distance. Man, that pin was way up in the back. I didn't even realize that. But I had the distance over here, so I ended up in the bunker right there. So, I got about a 30 yard shot, maybe 10, 20, 30, I don't know, 25, who knows. All right, let's see if we can get a good bunker shot here. All right, hit a nice chip shot there. It just was a little, a little strong with it. So I got this 10 footer. Looks like it's gonna break a little bit here to save my par. Let's see if we can do another one. Turn in there, turn in there. All right, well, bogey train it is. Stay on the bogey train. That was a good roll. It just didn't didn't go in. So, <clears throat> another bogey. All right. Well, we're two over now. So keep my head up, though. Too bad. I mean, those holes are not very easy. But we have a par five coming up here, and pretty much straight ahead so I should be able to get a shot back if I get two good shots here let me see how far it is all right hole 15 par 5 it says 537 yards so if I get a good drive there should be no problem getting there in two and see if we can't get back maybe both of them or at least one of those shots let's go was hit. I should have a easy second shot to get in there plus a good angle too. All right guys ball ended up here just over in the rough but it's right there in the shade and all but pin is down there it says I got about 265 yards so I'm gonna have to jump up on this three wood. I don't think I can make it all the way there but I'm gonna try and get it as close as I can, get myself a nice, easy chip shot up there. All right, I hit that one pretty good. So, let's go down there and see if it's close. See if I got a nice little easy chip shot up there. All right, ball ended up right here, folks. So, I kind of got under that three wood a little bit, so I got about 70 yards left here. I'm gonna hit a little 60 degree straight ahead. I should better just hit it easy, nice and easy, straight right ahead there and put it down close to the pin. Let's see if we can do it. Hey, did what I wanted to do. All right, there's where she ended up. I hit it pretty good. It hit and just stopped right there. As you can see, it said, boom, bam, hit on the brakes and backed up, didn't she? All right, I guess that's about four feet maybe for birdie. All right, let's see if we can put this bird in. All right, that's good. There you go, baby. Bird, we got one back. Puts us back to one over after being two over. Right, hit some good shots. And that's what happens, folks. Get them birds. Pee, quack, 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 quack. Well, maybe it's a chicken, who knows? <laughs> we got the bird in, yeah. All right, we got us a bridge ready here. This is a kind of long one right here, right? So we're gonna see what it is here. Big ups to Buster Jack with the bridge. The bridge reviews. All right, let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Entry. Oh, nice and smooth. A little noisy. Not too bumpy. Mm, okay, not too bad. I'll give that about a 8.8 .8 on the bridge rating there. 8.8. .8.
All right, we're coming up on hole number 16 here is a par four. As you can see, it's 353 from the whites here. And usually this hole gives me some fits. I don't really know why, because it's kind of open down there. There's a little water uh, down on the right and some sand on the left. So you kind of need to get a nice tee shot here and then you're gonna have to go over water to the second shot. Back over there, baby. Come back to the right. All right. Good drive there. All right, looks good. Turn right. Cut, 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 cut. Ooh, all right. Looks about like it's pin high there, so let's go see what we got, baby. All right. Nice shot in here. Good distance. Tad bit long, but not too bad. We got about uh, maybe nine, 10 feet right there for the birdie. See if we can get another one back. We have one over. Let's see if we can get a bird here and maybe get back to even. Let's go. All right, baby. Right in the hole. Good speed. Wrong line, boys and girls. All right. Looks like we're going to take it far. We're gonna take a par here. All right, we had a good chance for bird there, but hey, that leaves us at one over. Yeah, and that's a par, so we can't complain. We still got two holes left. Uh, try and get one back. So uh, on to number 17. All right, hole number 17 here is also a par four, and it's 410 yards from the whites there. You see down there, there's some bunkers on the right, but you got a pretty big fairway there to the left. So as long as you don't hit it right here, you should be okay. Oh, All right, let's hope that one got over the bunker. All right, guys, ball ended up here. Pretty good drive, it was about 260 good for me right in the middle of carried that bunker right there barely <laughs> which was nice but we got about 155 to the pin there go baby come on oh my goodness thank you didn't hit it great but it made it over that bunker so i'm happy about that yeah, that was a little downhill lie right there, so came out a little bit chunky when I hit it. A little funky, but oh, it looks like I'm up here right on the fringe, so looks like I'll be putting this bad boy. All right, ended up right over there, guys, as you can see, over on the fringe, so got kind of a long putt, but I'm going to put it lag it up right over here see if i can uh get it close or possibly drop one unexpected shot so let's go come on get the leg get the leg get the legs good putt good putt just need a little more juice all right let's see if we can knock this par in and get out of here Bam. All right. Still one over with that par. Going into 18, we got one more chance to get it back to even. All right, last hole, number 18, par four also. A little bit shorter than the last. This one's 362, so if I hammer a drive down there, should have kind of a shorter wedge shot in. So let's see what we're gonna do right here. Actually, nice, beautiful hole here, finishing hole. See, bunkers have got one, two, three, four bunkers there that you could hit in, depending on how you hit it. But what I usually like to do is take it over these trees right there because the green is directly down there behind those trees. So I'm gonna be trying to do that right here, right now. Let's go. Should be out there in the middle of the fairway somewhere. Let's go find it. 
and hit that sucker again. All right, guys. Luckily, I escaped <laughs> those bunkers right there. Landed up in the middle of the fairway. But it wasn't my best drive. Like I said, there was a little wind up there, too. And uh, so we are left with a, about 139 yards, I believe. All right, guys, I guess the nine was not enough. Should have hit an eight, but hit it left and came up a little short. So I got a little chip shot here. I need to pop up there and see if I can get it close and try to get out of par here and stay it one over. Let's see if we can do it. See if we can knock this bad boy in. Stay far here. Oh, yes, sir. All right. Okay. That's a par on the last. Woo. Gonna keep us at one over. Very nice for nine holes today out here at the reserve. All right, so that's gonna do it, everybody. We're out here in the swamp land and the jungle land of Kissimmee, Florida at Orange Lake Resort. So, shot pretty good today. I could have made some more putts. You know, there's a couple bogeys I had, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. I've been working on some stuff in my game. Uh, definitely need to work on my putting some more. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with that. So, um, yeah, you wanna come check out these places? Uh, Said before, Orange Lake Resort, nice place. Four courses out here. Four. Four, that four. So, if you want to come on down to Florida, let us know. Give old man Parr a shout. Maybe you can come on the channel and try to beat old man Parr. All right, guys. Until the next video, like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. We're going to keep playing golf. And hopefully, you're going to keep watching. Old man Parr. Peace.